Well, Gary Diamond, here we are for our second show this year. Your first show. You weren't here last week. I wasn't at the last uh, show. We had a meeting on the north side. And you are the north side coordinator. Yeah, I am the north side coordinator. Would you like to report to our viewers what you did last week? I fought at the with, meeting. At the meeting. <laughs> fought with the members of the north side. You fought. <laughs> okay. I tried to uh, organize a couple committees on the north side to help uh, after the parade with the cleanup in the the uh, Debray and Lane Tech parking lots. Also uh, tried to organize a product committee for the north side. So there's always product on the north side for anything that you know for our meetings and for any time. Uh, a bar or something has a function. We will definitely work on that, Gary. But let's remind the viewers that our parade is December 4th, Sunday, the first Sunday in December. It's going to be seven days sunny. That's true. Well, maybe. And we have to remind <laughs> everybody that that's why we do this show, to inform the people of Chicago that Western Avenue is going to be uh, a bit congested that time of day, from anywhere between like 7 o'clock till about 12 o'clock, okay? So if and you plan on doing your shopping, wait till after the parade. It'll be a lot simpler. Or just find out which side of Western you want to be on and just stay there until about 12 o'clock. Come and join the parade. It'll be more fun. And I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to Chicagoland because I was informed at a meeting I had with the city of Chicago that our parade affects over 400,000 people that day. Wow. Okay, I guess they did a study. And... Uh, Thankfully, they're still allowing us to do the parade, and one of the things we agreed to do is this television program to remind everybody about it. But we have about, how many members do you think we have? Alive so, members? Alive. <laughs> yes, we lost nine members last uh, year. We're getting a bit old, I guess, and it's, we have to replace them. So if you know of anybody who wants to join a great organization, one of the oldest and most respected throughout the free world, wouldn't you say? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is the largest motorcycle parade in the world. We are entering our 39th year, and I am here to tell you that uh, we've been around so long that people can remember being helped by this organization when they were kids or in an orphanage or in a hospital or a home for bedded women, wherever they got helped around Christmas by us, Chicagoland Toys for Tots Motorcycle Parade, from all the toys that we generate that now they're in a position in life to give back, and a lot of those people became members. And that's probably one of the reasons why we're so strong as we are. So, anyway, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is George Lester Fortier, Jr., as Jack Voss said last week. I am the president. Standing next to me is Gary, what's your middle name? Gary. Gary, Gary Diamond. Gary Diamond. He is our Northside coordinator. He coordinates everything at the end of the parade to make sure to make sure you guys don't keep going straight down right. Western and That's right, get lost. That's right, because we forget sometimes from all the cameras and all the people cheering us on. We just keep going. Yes, yeah, I know. But, you know, uh, we have to have people out to on Western Avenue to make sure people turn into the right uh, the streets to get to the DeVry and the, to uh, Lane Tech parking lot. Um, it takes a lot of people to. to uh, Organize this parade and to keep it running smooth as it does last year the parade it Actually surprised me it ran so smooth and it was still organized. Well, that was your first year was it? It was uh, my first year as well, that's probably why year. Well, yeah, I cracked the whip and I made sure things got <coughs> Excuse me. there would be uh, <laughs> There would be big trouble on the north side actually the um, most people who uh, have been doing the parade over the years they, pr they pretty much know what they have to do uh, they're, they know uh, what's, what their stations have to be and what they have to do. There's a couple changes that we're going to make. Uh, this thing has got so big that uh, it's just, uh, unfortunately, we can't accommodate everybody who wants to, uh, how would you put it? Uh, participate. Participate and, uh, like, get magnetized to Santa and his uh, elves and... Uh, the governor and his crew. Uh, well, that's great that the governor comes out and supports this parade, good. which he did as a private citizen before yes. he even thought about becoming governor. Yeah, okay, so that's kind of cool. On it. rode the parade long before he was governor. Or even wanted to be governor. So he did it all for the right reasons, in my opinion. And as far as helping everybody, and we do. I mean, it's it's it, we need volunteers, okay? We need help. We need everybody does. We could do a better job, I'm sure. We but it's amazing the job that does get done, though. It's remarkable, <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, 
I don't, uh, I don't see how it could fail, man. We got such good people uh, well, helping us do this. Yeah, I mean, we had a, like I explained a little bit last week, we had a, uh, we have our meetings on the south side of the city in uh, 63rd and Harlem at a VFW hall there. And I was informed eight days before our kickoff party, which is uh, our, the party we have that thank all the people that helped us last year. We give them a little gift and we give them dinner and try and get more people to join. Well, eight days before we had our kickoff party, I was informed that the VFW hall could not, would not be open for us because they were like closing its doors. So we had to hurry up and find another place. And that's why I'd like to thank the VFW Ryan Post 2729, the number, post number. It's at 5858 West Archer Avenue in Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, thank you, Charlie. It was a great place. We had our first meeting there last week. We had a great time there, and they welcomed us with open arms. That's somewhere. right. I truly enjoyed the indoor plumbing. It was kind of good. Yeah. No they got uh, indoor good plumbing Good parking there. across good, the street. Good uh, acoustics in there for yeah, the meetings. That's right. We had the bar with the... The people that were thirsty had a separate room to go into. Is that right. the way of putting it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we had a meeting room which was for people who wanted to listen a to the meeting. separate meeting area, right. Uh, it cuts down on uh, all that, the noise from the bar and the people talking. And we have nine committees, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Let me go to the... Uh, yeah. our web there, we there you go. Hey. The motorcycle, the world's greatest motorcycle parade. This is put together by Jack Voss, whom you had met last week, our bylaw historian. I call it, as the president, I'm entitled to my opinion, I think it's the world's largest motorcycle parade because it is, in fact, a parade. There are rallies that are bigger, but I defy anybody to call me up if you're out there listening to tell me about one that is a larger motorcycle parade anywhere in the known universe. We're the largest parade in the city of Chicago, right? And we're the longest the also. Longest parade. As far as time is concerned. Each year, thousands of motorcycle riders come to Chicago to ride together and donate toys for needy children. All motorcyclists are welcome to participate in the parade, provided they meet the following two requirements. All riders must bring at least one new unwrapped toy to donate, and all motorcycles must be streak legal. And if anybody does not know what that means, call us up. I'll be more than happy to inform you exactly what streak legal means. That means you have to have insurance in case somebody wants to see that you do, and also that your plate is clearly visible and up to date. No Otherwise, you cannot be in the parade. And for the people who have been a part of other runs and parades and such, we do not require you to fill any numbers out. We do not charge anything for this parade, even though it costs, I, mean, I can't say the number, I, which call me up, be more than happy to tell you than what it costs us. It's on the website, my phone number. But it does say thousands of dollars to have this parade, okay? And it's and, a long process. And we do not require anybody to uh, pay to be a part of it. But we do expect you to have a new and unwrapped toy on your motorcycle, or if you want to donate it and ride in the parade is fine too. But that's what we kind of like require. But this year, we are not going to uh, allow any motorcycles that don't have clearly visible motor uh, plates on their vehicle, okay? Because in this day and age, we have to be able to identify everyone. And as a matter of fact, all of the workers along the parade on Western Avenue will be wearing their Toys for Tots vest with their Toys for Tots number clearly visible on it also. So if you're talking to somebody during the uh, parade this year, and they're wearing a Toys for Tots vest, but it does not have a number. That is someone borrowing one of our vests and is not a real member of the organization. So bear that in mind because they are missing a few. We may have a few right. people and it may be wearing a, them to be cool that day when it's not really theirs. And it may be a volunteer that's not a member that is Correct. helping us out that day. But we have to uh, maintain control of this parade in case any issues do come up. We have to have the public be able to identify us and know who and what we can do to make it better next year. Otherwise, if we continue to allow bad stuff to happen, we will not have a parade next year, and it wouldn't be fair to all the children of Chicago. We can't allow any bad things to happen. That's right. That's right. This thing is, uh, it's been going on, this is 39 years. Okay, so think about that. There's a lot of people out there that this thing started before you were born. That's right. Okay? We'd like to make it 100 years, but we need some newer people to come aboard with us and sign up and get to be a part of this and volunteer and find out what we have to do to keep this thing going for another 40 
39, 40 years, whatever it's going to take. Um, it'd be uh, the way it is, like Lester mentioned earlier, that we lost nine members last year or this year. So uh, we need to replace those nine with, you know, nine more or 20 more younger people to. Uh, hundreds of more. Hundreds is even better, yeah, right. To uh, start at the bottom, come up in the ranks, and learn uh, how to do this. And Maybe one day you'll going. be sitting in these chairs, huh? Maybe one day you could be here. That's right. Beautiful downtown Chicago. This is true. What I think, what, one of the reasons I think why this organization has been so strong over the years, no matter what happens, we've been through a lot of presidents, we've been through a lot of governors, we've been through a lot of mayors, but Chicagoland, Tories for Tots Motorcycle Parade has survived, okay? One of the biggest reasons, in my opinion, is that we're not political. We do not take a side. My, you know, we all have personal views, right? This, right? this is not the place to talk about it. You're We're going to talk see about Hillary our career. or Trump here tonight. It's, that's, that's right. Uh, our goal and our only goal is, and that's what kept us, I think, as strong as we are, is to make sure that all the uh, uh, underprivileged and needy children of Chicagoland can have a Christmas. Because I'm sure a lot of people out there can remember maybe they didn't have such a good Christmas and they felt kind of bad about that. And this might help the... Uh, sure. People not become mean, I guess, when they grow up. They got a Christmas. <laughs> they still guess. be mean. Like they still that. be mean. Okay. Yeah, you know, because you didn't get an Xbox. This is true. <laughs> no, this I'm just, is true. I'm just but when you, when you let us know about your uh, family or a family in need, well, first of all, if you're a member of the organization, like I, I refer to the Toys for Tots numbers, everybody has one, and uh, that's how you get identified, okay? But once you become a member and make three meetings, which you must make three meetings once you join, that's to prove to us that you're capable of Making coming out three meetings. Yeah, right. After that first year, you're just going to make one meeting. You already proved yourself that you can become one, that you'll come out. But once you get that number and you know of a needy family that needs help around Christmas, you know, assistance of, you know, for toys and such, you just write, accept the letter, you read the letter, and you put your number on it, okay? Once your number is on it, our Tory committee is going to think that, uh, or is going to know that you vetted them out and these people really need these toys. And that's one of the perks of being, being a member of this organization, that you can network yourself that way also. So everybody who is a member can be a bit of a Santa Claus that day. Or they that can, year. yes, uh, they can spread the word of how we help families. Uh, you know, you don't have to be, uh, you know, poor or underprivileged it could be you know your maybe your job doesn't have the overtime like it had last right. year or maybe you had an extra child this year or you know maybe you got laid off who knows maybe you had uh, to pay the gas bill or buy maybe toys you had to pay you know? your taxes or your right. gas bill or, or your gas you, in your car your health insurance might be of a bit of a burden right. also but i don't want to get into that but anyway that's why we're here and that's what we're doing and we're going to continue to do it until uh they won't let us anymore, I guess. But we we always seem to react to whatever happens. What's we, that we little slogan they say about the kids? The toys for tots? Well, every child deserves a Every Christmas. child deserves a toy for Christmas, right? That's right. That's, That's right. right. We're doing the best we can to uh, now, make sure that happens. Just uh, just the fact that, uh, say, uh, you know, you know a family that has a few uh you know, a few kid children, um, you know they're not going to have a good Christmas. If we can do something to help them out, to make them a better person in the future, something small just like that, maybe the, the trigger they need to uh, get on the right path. You know, you see the, the city of Chicago, the young people uh, are just lost, man. They just, I don't know what it is anymore. But uh, maybe something small, just to donate, you know, a few hours a year to help a couple needy families or a couple children, uh, you know, could make the difference. And we're going to try and get someone from the toy committee on this wonderful show that went the wrong way. <laughs> well, this is confusing looking at the thing. Anyway, Can TV, okay. as you can see my button over here. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. Ain't that weird? <laughs> and we've been doing this for a while, too. Ooh. Yeah, I know. But if it wasn't for Can TV and the wonderful people that work here, you would not be looking at Gary and I right now. Was, okay, they do a wonderful job and it's all set up for charities and... Uh, this is a wonderful facility to have brand new that's facility. Right. Man, I feel like a movie star now. For the, for the politicians of Illinois listening to this program, and I hope there are a few, your money is very well spent here. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. and hope we can do it next year and a year after that and a year after that. And also, uh, 
we'd like to thank the city of Chicago and the police department and everybody who's involved in helping us, you know, uh, get this parade going and keep it going for 39 years. There's a lot of help that we get from the city of Chicago, the police department, uh, city of sanitation, all the way up to the mayor's office. And, oh, yeah. Uh, Without them, we, we couldn't do this, and we really appreciate their help. And the Tory committee, believe it or not, we're going to get somebody on the show. We have to. We haven't. Everybody's going to have to be on the show, at least one of, one of our board. Every yeah. board member should appear on this show at least once. We need Peggy on the show. No, we don't. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Peggy should be on the show, too. We need Peggy I think she was on the show once. But a lot of our people on our Tory committee. Beep. And beep. Beep. We got a beep? No. Oh. Beep. Peggy. Oh, the show. bleep. But uh, the members of our, most of the members of our Tory committee became members of the Tory committee when they came here to try to get toys for their family. And they seen how it worked out, and they uh, uh, seen our warehouse, how we sort the toys, boy, or girl, our old. People dropped them off, they sort them, and then people pull them, by, you know, so they know how boy or girl, how old they are and such. And they become a part of the uh, committee because it doesn't cost anything, number one, and number two, they get the pay it forward as far sure. as taking it, care of what they It do. helps, you know, it makes you feel a little better doing something, especially around Christmas time. That's that's why we do it. Even though we do it all year long. Well, we have to, just to maintain... Uh, just to keep it going. You know? well, everybody we thinks, you know, it's one day a year, everybody shows up and it's a big party and everybody yeah. gets toys, but we start this in February. You know, we, we've been doing this meetings yeah. and... Uh, Organizing since February, trying to make things uh, better and easier for people, trying to make the facilities better, trying to, you know, work with whatever circumstances that we have to just to make this thing uh, better. And it gets bigger and bigger, like I said earlier, and uh, we just need to take it. It takes a little longer now to keep control over this thing. Well, we got to roll with the punches, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I was going to uh, thank our phone person. Once we, we got just, a phone call, but we haven't gotten but one yet. we decided yet. not to. So I'd like to, thank, I'd like to thank <laughs> John Reagan again for giving us his time. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Uh, I guess... We're not gonna, you're not going to make you pay us this time. Yeah, right? that's okay. Yeah. We're going to let you slide this time. <laughs> I guess the, some, uh, a sports team must be playing tonight. That must be why we're kind of slow, huh? Possibly. It's probably. Say again, you had a phone call? Go Cubs. Thank you very much. Sure. I'll call you, Jeff. No, you just said, yeah. Anyway, let me show you the meeting schedule. Okay, we already had our September 30th meeting. Our next meeting is going to be October 14th. That's at Archer and Luna, 5858 West Archer Avenue. Meeting starts at uh, 730. Okay. Plenty of parking across the street. And I uh, hope to see you there. That's and these are the, this is on our website www.chicagoland toys for tots motorcycle parade uh north side meetings these are the ones gary's in charge of and the next one is uh monday october 17th oh i see you won't be here next week huh no why don't you have your meeting here you can put them all in here that's i wanted to do it from here have everybody <laughs> over there and i'll be here oh, oh we have a caller hello howdy hey jack how you doing sir Good, good. Hey, how about plugging the website? I was getting there. I got it. I got it in my notes. Okay, and don't forget Facebook. Website and the Facebook. Well, I said about the Facebook. I said what a great job you did with this. Okay, thanks. I just thought I'd call in and remind you. What'd you think of the show last week? Oh, it was great. Even what even if because I wasn't on it. On there last week. Yeah, we did well. If you're more than welcome, if you want to come back again, Jack. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do you want to come back? Oh, you bet I do. Okay, right? how about next Monday? Because Gary's not going to be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you continue. Have a good show. Thank you very much, Jack. Thank you for calling. Good night, Jack. Come on. <laughs> that, that was Jack Voss. He does a lot of work for this organization. And he's also in charge of our Facebook page, Chicagoland TFT, right? Yeah. Facebook? Yeah. We have two pages. Jack's in charge of both of them. They'll be more than happy to help you through there. And uh, most of the information that uh, you would need would be on the website. And uh, and then all any uh, it, a lot of people post their events and uh, 
Jack keeps up to uh, like our meetings and uh, parade dates and stuff on Facebook. So we're pretty pretty much out there for anybody who you know just wants to get on the computer and check us out. Right, and we'll take any kind of assistance. You don't have to. Some people. Take might it. be in between jobs, they have lots of time, we'll take your time. Some people might be working three jobs, those people will take their money, right? right. It, it all works right. out that way. And that don't, one, one's no better than the other, in my opinion. But here's a picture of our poster, 39th year. That's a long time for anything, wouldn't you agree? Yes. How many can people can say they've been living in the same house for 39 years? <laughs> or drove the same car? <clears throat> or had the same job? Been married to the same woman. Who was that? Uh, who was that? That was at the uh, kickoff. Was one of the founders? Yes, that was Thor. And he, he, one he, of the like, six guys. We asked him, "Did you ever think it would get this big?" Or yeah. And he like he said, "No, no way. We never imagined that." Yeah, he just did it because they had nothing better to do. But that's kind of cool. We've been around for a long, long time. People. People look forward to this. You know, from all over the country, all over the world. I got people like, from Australia, and New Zealand. They come to the to uh, the parade and. It's pretty, pretty wild how this thing just took off. Uh oh. Yes. What's the matter? Caller. We do have a caller. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you, sir? How you doing, Bob? Thanks for calling. How can we help you? Well, um, I used to ride with you guys a while back. Okay. When you guys were at Forty Seventh and Killed There. All right. And my wife won't let me ride that late in the year anymore but I still need to get a box for Toys for Tots for my company how do I do this okay can you, you can go on our website you can my phone number is on there it's everybody's there uh, give us a call we are more than happy to set you up and you can still be a member without riding your motorcycle okay yeah 40 percent of our members don't ride motorcycles it's not a requirement let me put it to you this way out of, out of the seven eight hundred members that we have let's say about half of them have motorcycles how many motorcycles do you think actually show up for the parade if it's snowing out or if it's kind of wet out? Right. Uh, I mean, the last actually the last one I rode was the the one inch snowfall. Okay. Yeah, we're looking to get a hundred bikes show up that day. They actually work the parade. We have a lot of people participating with their motorcycles, but as far as working it, so don't feel bad if you don't want to. Yeah, I've you've been if you've been around since Forty Seventh Street, then now you can remember a few nasty years back then also. Okay, well, I remember one. Definitely. Yeah, you had the ice storm one year, then you had the snow, the other, then you had like, it was cold like two years in a row, remember that? Oh, yes, yes. You walk out of a, a okay. Porta John, you think you're doing a Michael Jackson video, it's all that smoke. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> okay, you've been there, that's good. Doing Bob's venue. Okay, very good. But we'll be more than happy to get a box out there to you. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, we can't take your information on the air, Bob. Right, which we can, there's a place on the website, but just give me a call personally. I'll be at the warehouse tomorrow around 730. It's 8900 right. South Odell if you wanted to go over there and, and we'll get you a box, okay? All right. All right, thank All right, you thank so you much for calling, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Thank, thank you. you, Bob. That was nice. And as you can see on our poster, parade entry all riders must bring a new toy. Uh, it says no uh, stuffed animals, but if you show up with one, we know how to. We have outlets. The toy committee does a great job as far as finding people who will accept these things if people do show up with them. Come and see Santa Claus riding in the parade. We'll probably have a lot of them. Uh, it's the largest motorcycle parade in the world. What was that? I just seen five minutes. Okay, thank you. Wow, time sure flies. We got five minutes left. I'm just getting warmed up, man. I wanna... That's working on that shyness thing. Info on Facebook and www.chicagolandtft.org. Okay, at the bottom of the poster here. Chicagolandtft.org. And, of course, these posters are donated by Stars and Stripes. It's a uh, company that gives us all our posters for free, and I'd like to thank them. Mark and Betty, thank you very much. Uh, the parade divided into sections called tiers. There are intervals between each section to allow cross traffic. And only street-legal motorcycles and properly licensed motorcycles are allowed. All right, so we have to make sure we uh, not deviate from that. But I'd like to show people, this, this is the first time I'm trying this. When you become a member, the first, <laughs> the first year, when you successfully do whatever we ask you to do the day of the parade, 
you receive. Okay. Can you zoom it? There, you there we go. Oops. Okay. Everybody see that where it says support unit and the big patch? Okay, that's what you get your first year. All right. Put that on your, your, your jacket, your vest, or whatever. Let everybody know in Chicago and when you go ride sure your bike all summer <laughs> where, uh, that you're a member and you're a member in good standing. Okay? This is an older patch, but as you collect the patches for each year, your second year you won't get the big patch anymore. You'll just get the rocker with the year on it. Okay? I'm sure you've noticed some of our people walking around. The, their whole sleeve would be full of uh, patches all the way down each arm. Okay? And now we're going to show you the... Uh, the pin that most people buy, of course we ran into this last year, remember? Yeah, <laughs> What's that glare thing? Anybody see glare, that? Right? Let me try and zoom that in a little bit more. Okay, anybody see that? Well, anyway, you see a lot of these too. We have these for sale. And these are the ride pins. Once you participate, you get one of these. Uh, six, Any, anybody can buy those. The patches you can't buy. You got to earn these. The patches come with the uh, with your after you fulfilled your membership obligations and right. worked the parade. Then you get the patch and the rockers every year. You get the patch for the first year right. and then rockers every year after that. Support unit. That's uh, for rolling blockers, isn't it? No, everybody first because they're all everybody? support. Yeah, everybody. Gets everybody. It. Yeah. So that's very, very nice, and I'd like to thank you all again for giving us your time. Bob, it was very nice talking to you. I hope you're still watching. Going back to 47th Street, you probably got the, the white block. <laughs> we'll be looking forward to seeing You had the square patch with this black and white, right? And all that kind of good stuff. Now we're doing any questions, let us know. Uh, we can almost show our TV shows while we're on show TV. Yeah. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Sure. Gary and I did four TV shows last uh Last year. Last year. For one day. For one, yeah, we kept changing shirts. We you changed those shirts think, and yeah. hats and made everybody think that we were different yeah. studios. Yeah. That's when they were rebuilding. They were building this one. It wasn't ready. This one is fantastic studio. Oh, yeah. The, the greatest thing, thing about it is what? The parking lot. Parking lot's yeah. excellent. Very good. Um, so. Any questions, comments, concerns? We uh, just want to... Uh, let you guys know again this year that uh, the city of Chicago don't want us to obscure our license plates with duct tape or anything else. Uh, you could do that, but you won't be in a parade. You can do it, but if we catch you, we're going to have to ask well, you. We will catch you. Even if you're a member of the organization, you and, will be uh, asked to leave. They said also that they were going to turn the cameras off, right? The cameras are turned off every year. That I get, The excuse I get as to why people camouflage their plates, including our members, is they don't want to get a red light ticket. Okay. What you do any other time of the day, that's fine. I don't care if you do that to keep from getting a ticket any other day. But that day, we have meetings with the city of Chicago. Gary's been with us, and we that's one of the things they do. We prove to them we have insurance. We prove to them we had the show. We prove to them we pass out the posters, pass out the letters. And then they assure us that the red light cameras will be off going north down Western Avenue. Okay? You get a ticket going south, that's not the parade. Going north between, I think it's 9 o'clock and 1 o'clock, no one gets a ticket, okay? The, uh, uh, they can still count the bikes, though, because that's where we get the count from. Right. They, simply, they can't shut off the cameras. They can simply not issue tickets, okay? So bear that in mind, please. And we're going to keep hammering that into you every week until you get tired of hearing it. And now we're going to tell you some more. That's right. And we'll tell you again. Anyway, we got to wrap up because i just seen John again. Thank you, sir. John I've seen it. did a great job. John, Gary Diamond, thank you. Uh, Lester, thank, thank you. Thank you for the city of Chicago for helping us. Thank you, Can TV. I wear this button proudly. Thank you. And, uh, You're the best. Appreciate all of our it. fans out there, we'll see you next week again. Uh, That's right. You know, write your questions down. You can call us up next week with them. That's right. And some uh, of you members, you want to help coming up with this television show, give me a call. I'm more than happy to get you in here. Just remember, uh, make them tough questions because I won't be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> next week. That's right. Well, hopefully you can get somebody with a phone over there and we can talk about something. Maybe I get somebody on the other side that knows how to speak, huh? Well, maybe without tapping their feet, yeah. Because I ask for volunteers and nobody says a word. Well, that's just the nature of the beast today. But I think they don't know how to talk. Maybe they're learning. Okay, thank you. Good night, everyone.